Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're doing a full day of eating, so I'm gonna take you with me and just kinda take you along and show you what my day looks like. Today's video is sponsored by one of my favorite brands, Safe and Fair, so thank you to them, a huge shout out for supporting today's video. So guys, just remember with these full days of eating, this is just one day in my life. Every single day is different. And I think one other important thing to know is I did not just snap my fingers when I was breaking my food rolls and start eating this way. If you want to learn more about kind of the way that that works, go to my video on extreme hunger. That's a little bit more accurate on the process of it, but this is where I am now and what a typical day looks like for me. jam on it. I have a recipe for that as well. I can link to it and some peanut butter. Also had two cups of coffee this morning. Now I'm working on having some water because I do not feel super great if I just have coffee in the morning. So I'm gonna have some water and then I'm gonna head out and go rollerblading. I feel like rollerblading is coming back in style and I'm loving it. it took me forever to track down rollerblades in my size, but found them. So I'm gonna go out and rollerblade, listen to a podcast. One of my favorite things to do in the morning. So gonna go do that this morning and I will check back in with you guys later. Okay, so I am back from my blade and I'm gonna go ahead and make a protein shake. I usually like to have these after I work out because I'm not necessarily always hungry after it but I know that my body would like some protein and it just kind of cools me off. So going to make one of those. So I do use a lot of gentle nutrition kind of just going throughout my day. So knowing that protein is going to help my muscles recover, having carbs beforehand to actually fuel my rollerblading. That's just kind of using that gentle nutrition. I do have a blog post more about this, which I'll link in the description if you want to read more on that. But that is really learned after you start to get rid of your food rules, you kind of incorporate that back in. So read that blog post if you want to know more about that. But I'm gonna go ahead and make this and I'll show you what kind of my staple recipe is. And I have the full recipe right now in the description that I will give you guys. Okay guys, so in my smoothie protein shake or whatever you wanna call it, I always put a full frozen banana in here that is key, do not skimp on that. I like to use, right now I like Optimum Nutrition Protein. I've been using that, this is, let me see here, chocolate peanut butter flavor. It's very delish. So going to be using some of that. I also add a little bit extra cocoa powder in there to make it just a little more chocolatey. I'm gonna put some peanut butter on top there. This stuff is good. Pro tip, store your peanut butter upside down. If it's this natural stuff, then you don't have to mix it as much. Delish. I also add a little bit of pudding mix into my smoothies. It gets them just a nice and thick and adds a little sweetness, just a, just a touch of that. And then I always like to use whole milk for my smoothies and protein shakes because it just helps to keep me full because there's some fat in there. So going to mix that up. I have some ice here and we'll go ahead and do that. Thank you. 
every time. Okay guys, so I am going to finish drinking this and then I'm going to try to get outside because we just got a hammock and my pillow came today. So I'm super excited about that, but it's supposed to rain. So we'll see if I can make it outside before that. Mm. Extra peanut butter on top totally makes a pretty standard day. I'm gonna go get to some work and I'll see you guys at lunch. Okay, it's back in the kitchen. I'm about to make lunch and I wanna show you what I'm making because I've been making this every day for like the past week and it's so good. I just need to grab couple more things. Okay, so essentially I'm making a sandwich. I'm gonna use, I'll just show you. Okay, so I start with a nice, lightly toasted slice of sourdough. So we start with that. Then I'm gonna go ahead and put some mayo on there. And we're gonna throw some lettuce on top of it. My slices are kind of thick. Then I have just a slice of chicken, just deli meat that I had. I'm gonna throw that on there. Just to get it all nice and on there. Then put some tomato slices. Okay, now here's the best part. I'm going to take a fried egg and slide it right on there. Then obviously top it with another piece of the sourdough bread. So I'm gonna throw that on there. There we go. Perfectly ripe. Watermelon is like candy to me. I absolutely love it. And I also made some potato salad this past weekend and we have a bunch left over. So I'm gonna give myself a couple scoops of that. The sandwich is giant. You gotta mop up all the yolk with the rest of the sandwich. If your if your bread doesn't look like it's soaked in yolk, probably not doing it right. Hmm. So good. hungry right now. I'm not going to lie. Mm. You guys, this granola is legit. So I took some coconut whole milk yogurt, put that in there, blueberries, and my favorite birthday cake granola. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you know I'm obsessed with Safe and Fair's birthday cake granola, really all of their stuff, but they are one of my absolute favorites. It's absolutely delicious and they are sponsoring today's video. So huge shout out to them. So I love this granola for a couple reasons. So first of all, it's birthday cake flavored and that kind of makes everything better. Plus anything with sprinkles, I'm legit here for. And it's also a little less dense than other granolas. It has some puffed rice in it that just makes it a little bit more airy and kind of not as much like you're just biting in a block of melted sugar, which isn't bad, but I like a little bit more airiness and crunch to my granola. So obviously I love the birthday cake granola, but they have a ton of other flavors like key lime pie, chocolate, honey crisp apple pie, blueberry cinnamon, and so many more. If you're wondering which one to order, you can't really go wrong with any of them, to be honest. Go ahead and do one of each. So they also have other birthday cake items. They have birthday cake popcorn and birthday cake mix. I always laugh because we have this shelf in our pantry that basically just like lined with birthday cake things, but what can I say? I just really love this stuff. The popcorn's really good. The baking mixes are really good. They also have tons of other popcorns. They have chocolate drizzle and they have a blueberry cobbler a la mode. So good. If you're a kettle corn fan, you gotta try these. 
Safe and Fair is always also launching really fun seasonal flavors. So go ahead and follow them on Instagram to be sure that you're kept up to date on all of the fun seasonal flavors that they come out with because they're always gonna let you know there. Beyond the fact that I love their products and they taste absolutely amazing, they're also allergen friendly. And this birthday kit granola is free of top nine allergens. So be sure to get your hands on that. They also donate 3% of their proceeds to the Sean N. Parker Center for Asthma and Allergy Research at Stanford University. And who does not love of supporting a company who gives back. I do. You guys can use the code no food rules to get 15% off any of their products, which is absolutely fabulous because their prices are already really great for the products that they're offering. Definitely love that. It's a reason why I'm a serial customer of theirs. Did he catch that pun? <laughs> I'm such a freaking nerd. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I'm gonna get it nice and all mixed up here. Mm. So good. I won't ever stop saying that. Plan for the rest of the evening. I have not made it to UPS yet, so I need to go do that. And for dinner, I am going to make tacos. So I'll show you guys how I do that. And then someone sent me something kind of strange on Instagram, Oreo rice. And I've been like thinking about it all day. So I'm gonna try to make that tonight. We'll see how it turns out. Essentially it's like Oreo and rice and a rice cooker. I kind of think it's gonna be like a chocolate cookies and cream rice pudding. So we'll see how that goes. So I'm going to go try to finally make it to the UPS store and I will catch you guys at dinner. I also had a couple more handfuls of granola and some strawberries. Okay, bye. multitasking. I'm trying to do things way too fast. I've burnt so many tortillas. I like to put them, I have one here you can see, on a burner and just kind of char them up a little bit. And I was just doing way too many things at one time and I burnt some. So try and slow down a little bit. <laughs> Basically we're having tacos tonight. Super simple. So my turkey in here, just using a packet of taco seasoning so we have that in there i have some onions and peppers all sauteed in there we have some shredded lettuce here i made a big batch the other day of my two minute avocado lime crema you guys gotta try this it is amazing so we're gonna have some of that on there and then we kind of ran out of salsa that was my bad i didn't plan for it so we're just gonna use some diced tomatoes with chilies and i just spilled on myself oops Got some cheese in there I'll need to grab out. And then my husband is outside. I put him on zucchini duty. We have zucchini on the grill. So before we put this together, I'm gonna keep working. I'm just gonna do a couple more of these. And then I really want to get my Oreo rice made. So I'm going to finish up these next two and then put the Oreo rice together so that that can cook while we eat dinner. Okay guys, so this is a mini rice cooker, obsessed with this. So we're gonna do a quarter cup of rice. I'm gonna use then a half cup of milk. And they said to use a little bit extra, so I'm just gonna do an extra splash. Let's go ahead and mix this up. And then I'm gonna use like, We'll see how many Oreos we have left first. So let's go, let's go nine. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. Oreos, rice, milk all in there. So I'm just going to go ahead, put the cap on, make sure it is on cooking. It is, and let's wait. <laughs> Dinner was delicious. I ended up, I was eating so fast because I feel like I've been so rushed this evening. So I found that I was eating really fast. So 
put my fork down, grab a sip of water, told myself to do, you know, some mindful eating exercises, actually pay attention to my food, and I was able to actually enjoy it more. Something I always recommend doing is, I have a bunch of different mindful eating exercises. I'll link to a video up there that I have on it, but so helpful. I mean, I was able to then listen to my hunger and fullness. I left about half of my zucchini that I had. I had a lot of zucchini on my plate. The tacos were pretty packed, so I didn't need or want all of the zucchini, so I left it. My dishwasher is running, if you can hear that. Bear with me. So yeah, I left about half my zucchini, let my husband eat that, and now I'm like 0% hungry to be honest with you, but my Oreo rice is done. It is okay to eat if you are not hungry. You don't have to be actually hungry. There's also a thing called taste hunger where you just wanna taste something. I have a blog post on that. I'll link in the description below. So let's go see what that looks like. I'm super excited about it and let's try it. You can see the Oreos. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, so it's kind of just like, okay, the rice is in there. I'll let it go for just a couple more minutes and then I'll show you guys the verdict, but so far so good. Okay, so I ended up adding more milk and it just kind of looks like brownie batter. So I'm going to put some of this in a bowl and go sit down. Here goes. I feel like my rice is a little bit undercooked. Maybe not. Mm. Tastes like Oreos. I think I would add more milk. Good. All right guys, thank you for following along with me in this what I eat in a day, no calorie counting, all about intuitive eating, no food rules. That's what we got. If you guys like this video and want to see more what I eat in a day videos, more vlog style videos, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit subscribe down there and leave a comment with what ideas you have if you want the full day of eating, if you want more lifestyle things, let me know. And big, big shout out to Safe and Fair for sponsoring this video. Love you guys. And like I said, be sure to hit subscribe. It really does help to support my channel and help me creating more videos for you. And with that, I will see you guys next Sunday, 5 p.m. Eastern time with a new video. I'm going to go take this to my husband so he can try it and have more myself. See ya.